Audi RS3 Sport back 2017 review. Faster, facelifted version of the already feverishly quick Audi RS3 Sportback continues to impress us with its sheer breadth of ability. What is it? Sister car to the mechanically identical RS3 saloon in an extended lineup of models from Audi Sport, the much-anticipated updated RS3 Super Hatch has received a number of key midlife upgrades that are claimed to both enhance its dynamic prowess and, more crucially, make it more entertaining to drive. The big news with the newly reworked four-wheel drive Mercedes-AMG A45 4Matic rival revolves around its turbocharged of the 2.5-liter 5-cylinder direct-injection petrol engine, which has been thoroughly re-engineered, giving it more power and reducing its weight by 26 kilograms, therefore improving the RS3's power-to-weight ratio and weight distribution. It's the same transversely mounted engine applied in the second generation TTRS in 2016, so it's not entirely new. Changes cited by Audi Sport development boss, Stephen Reel, include the adoption of an aluminium crankcase in place of the old iron one. Plus, a new dual injection process and Audi's patented valve lift system in a combination claim to increase combustion efficiency as well as a revised exhaust system with a larger volume muffler and adjustable flaps for an even more determined exhaust note. With a larger volume turbocharger providing a relatively low 1.35 bar of boost pressure, the new 5-cylinder kicks out an extra 32 bhp at 394 bhp between 5850 and 7000 revolutions per minute. Torque is also up, but only marginally, rising from a previous 343 to 354 pounds foot on a 225 bhp wider range of revs between 1700 and 5850 revolutions per minute. This endows the new RS3 Sport back with 18 bhp and a scant 4 pounds foot more than the smaller turbocharged 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine that powers the A45 4Matic. It is also 29 bhp and 11 pounds foot more than that delivered by the larger turbocharged 3.0-liter 6-cylinder engine used by the BMW M2. The RS3's increased reserves are channeled through an updated version of the standard Destronic 7-speed automatic transmission. This receives changes to its drive element at the propeller shaft in a move claimed to reduce its weight by 2.0 kg over the earlier version of the dual-clutch unit. Offering the choice of either manual or automatic modes, it comes with steering wheel-mounted shift paddles and a launch control function. The RS3's electro-hydraulic multi-plate clutch quattro four-wheel drive system has also been revised with new software mapping. It is now capable of delivering between 50 and 100% of drive to the rear wheels. Underpinning the new RS3 Sport back is a reworked version of its predecessor's suspension, with McPherson struts up front and an independent forward link arrangement at the rear. It is lowered by 25 mm over the lesser A3 Sport back and can be optioned with an RS Sport Suspension Plus package that brings magnetically operated variable damping. The RS3's standard 19 in wheels come shod with 235-35 R19 Pirelli P0 tires. Audi's Drive Select system offers the choice of four driving modes, Comfort, Auto, Dynamic, and Independent. You'll never confuse the latest RS3 Sport back for the A3 Sport back. Among its more distinctive styling touches are a front bumper with larger air ducts, a high gloss black grille with a honeycomb insert, flared front wheel arches, black mirror housings and wider sills. At the rear, it has a larger spoiler and a new bumper with an integrated diffuser and oval tail pipes. What's it like? The positive impressions begin as soon as you step inside. Although a little dark, the RS3 Sport back's interior is both stylish and of a high perceived quality. In fact, it wouldn't be out of place in a car costing twice as much. Although much the same as before, it continues to feel special, all the traditional RS touches are present such as a perfectly proportioned flat-bottom multifunction steering wheel 
supportive sports seats with embossed logos, a model unique gear knob and stainless steel pedals. Buyers can now also opt for Audi's virtual cockpit, a 12.3 in high definition display in place of standard analog instrument dials. As on the latest TT RS, this receives unique RS graphics among a series of different themes available to the driver via the press of a button on the steering wheel. Another option well worth considering is the electrically adjustable shell style sports seats. With integrated headrests and prominent bolsters, they not only look the part but also provide outstanding support, particularly at shoulder level. When you hit the engine starter button, positioned down on the center console, the RS3 Sport backfires with great intensity before settling down to a lumpy idle. Moving off into traffic, the wonderful idiosyncratic qualities of its engine, which continues to run a 1, 2, 4, 5, 3 cylinder firing order, remains very much part of its appeal. If anything, it sounds even more determined than before, especially in dynamic mode, where the flaps in the exhaust are open to increase volume. And with more power arriving earlier, there is an improvement in response and overall tractability at low revs. The new engine also pulls harder through the middle range and, when hauling along on the open road, feels happier percolating at higher revs than the old iron block unit ever did. Suffice to say the RS3 Sportback is quick. With a power-to-weight ratio increase of 23 bhp per ton, 0 to 62 miles per hour takes 4.1 seconds, which is 0.2 seconds faster than the old RS3 Sportback and 0.1 seconds less than the A45 4MATIC. The RS3's top speed is nominally limited to 155 miles per hour, but can be raised to 174 miles per hour. While the engine remains the undisputed highlight, the acceleration generated both off the line and through the gears in sport mode can also be attributed to the sheer efficiency and responsive nature of the revised dual-clutch gearbox and four-wheel drive system. Together they provide the car with truly heroic performance in the right conditions. It's not all fire and brimstone, though. With a terrifically flat torque curve, the RS3 also delivers effortless part throttle cruising qualities in comfort mode. With the reworked four-wheel drive system competently doling out drive to each end, there is a predictable abundance of grip on winding roads. It took a huge amount of commitment and very high cornering speeds to unseat the optional 255-30 profile Pirelli P0 front tires of our test car. However, the RS3 Sportback is now more alert and reactive. With the new engine placing a little less weight over the front end and tweaks to the camber of the front wheels increasing the contact area of the tires, it now turns in with improved enthusiasm and resists understeer much better, backing up Audi's claims that this facelifted model is more entertaining to drive than its predecessor. The RS3 Sportback now also feels more fluid and dependable when you're on a limit. However, it has lost none of its outright grip, nor its proficiency to place its abundant power to the road at the judicious punch of the throttle early in the exit of corners. Push it hard, and it rises to the challenge with improved balance and impressive body control. The overall lightness and muted responses delivered by the steering around town are also improved at higher speeds out of the open road, where it becomes quite weighty and a little more communicative when you're really hauling along through a series of constant radius corners like those we found on a smooth surfaced road winding up the mountains of Dofar, Oman. The heavily dusted roads we encountered also revealed another positive side to the dynamic ability of the new RS3 Sportback. With the electronic stability control system switched to sport mode, you can persuade it to kick its tail out by lifting off early on the entry to corners. It will even encourage power oversteer when you get back on the power early enough. While the faster reactions brought on by a new software and the ability of the four-wheel drive system to send up to 100% of drive to the rear wheels can be credited with much of this newfound adjustability, it is the optional tire package that also play a central role here. It is fun, then. But there is a rider, the ride. 
On standard suspension, it's typically firm and offers little in the way of comfort, wants for compliance and often becomes quite harsh. We will have to wait until we drive it on more familiar roads closer to home before making a definitive call, but our experience in Oman suggests you're going to be better off with the optional suspension, which adopts magnetically operated variable dampers. The RS3 Sport back also suffers from excessive road noise when the surface is not absolutely smooth, especially at the rear end, leaving us in doubt about its qualities as a long-distance cruiser. Cruiser.